being promiscuous in South Africa. Peace. At night, I do blowjob. I charge 10k. We are actually promoting oh. culture. So how much was your allowance? Maybe 50 every week. Wow! It pays to have a child in South Africa. The child support grant has been increased to 720 rand from 480. 13 million children who have parents that can afford them. We continue our discussion tonight on the epidemic of child and teen pregnancies in South Africa. When you were having sex unprotected, you were not thinking about us. You were only thinking about your pleasurable needs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Nox and Marubi Unfiltered. I'm Nox, he's Marubi. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's enjoy the show. You know, some uh, pressing issues mm. here in, in South, South Africa's shocking dependence on grants. The Institute for Economic Justice, as well as hashtag pay the grants, are at loggerheads with government. <laughs> History will remember you. You are not scared of 18,000 uh, policemen. You said helicopter, no helicopter. Rah. Ramaphosa must fall. Yeah. Experts say the social grant system is insufficient to keep people from poverty. 2022-23 fiscal year, the old age, war veterans, disability, and care dependence grants will increase. Foster care and child support grants will increase. Thirdly, 44 billion rand is allocated for a 12 months extension of the 350 social relief grant. You, 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 you. Some critics say the scheme would be ruinously costly. Others say giving free money to the poor creates dependency and deters them from seeking employment. And the number of individuals relying on state handouts to survive has more than doubled over the last decade. Yes. Yeah, in the Saudi, there's a lot of percentages, a lot of numbers, 59%, mm. 49%. Mm. Hey, it's too, it's too much. I was reading it. I was like, ah, this is too much. Now I can't be going. Should I give you the yeah. breakdown at least yeah, so that you don't have to? No, I was, I was the mental the, breakdown. I was reading it and it was 37%. And it went up 2% when you were 18, whatever. I'm like, oh, God. Okay, so in South Africa, we currently have seven types of grants, right? Namely, child support grant, disability grant, old age grant, mm -hmm. uh, foster child uh, foster child grant, care dependency grant, uh, war veteran grant, and social relief grant. Mm -hmm. Those are the current ones. I don't have a problem with these grants, okay. right? I have a problem with just two. Which, which is? The social relief grant. Here's a brief summary of the social relief grant and how it affects the economy. The South African social relief grant saga is like a circus with different effects. At first, when people receive extra money, prices go up and businesses struggle. However, this leads to more shopping and a boost for businesses, but jobs suffer because of a government stipend. Still, with the right approach, the grant can motivate people to seek job opportunities and improve their skills. Overall, the outcome depends on the design and execution of the program. And the child support grant. In 60 seconds, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the child support grant and its economic impact. The South African child support grant provides financial assistance to parents raising children under the age of 18, but it has both pros and cons. On the negative side, the grant is not a substantial amount, making it challenging to meet the expenses of raising a child, especially in large cities. Additionally, it can discourage individuals from seeking employment as they receive monthly government payments. However, on the positive side, the grant is a lifeline for many parents. If implemented well, it can actually motivate individuals to re-enter the workforce by offering financial support for job search and education or training expenses. Overall, it is a valuable program supporting families and children. However, it's important for recipients not to become too reliant on it, as it might hinder long-term independence. To break it down for you why I have a problem with them, South Africa's budget, total budget for the whole country to run the country, mm -hmm. to make sure the government's running the country efficiently, 2.3 trillion rands, yeah. right? A year, yearly, this year. That's what they announced for 2023, 2024, right? And then the total budget for grants mm -hmm. is 230 billion rands, okay. right? Which mm -hmm. is 10% of the total of the, budget of the, of the country. Trillion. That's a huge percentage, by the way, mm -hmm. for grants. Yeah. Cool. I'll just say, give, give me a guess, Nox. How much do you think child support grant is? 
Charles of Port or go. Roughly, percentage. Roughly, I'll go. Of, of the 230. Oh, yeah, of the 230 billion. I'll say. I'll, I'll, I'll go I'll go 50%. You are correct. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Meaning that 5% of the national budget mm -hmm. just goes to paying out child support grant. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? That's a big problem, Knox. Yeah. Do you know why? Because right now, your current government is, tr is, is set to make 2.1 trillion rands this year okay in terms of revenue so this is from tax and non-tax okay, yeah. revenue mm -hmm. right pause firstly what he just said is actually incorrect so that was a lie the government is projected to make a revenue of 1.75 trillion rands you, you 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 and that's why the people of this country will vote anc all the time. What Marubi is not telling you is that the government is projected to run a loss between 360 billion to 550 billion rands in 2023. You are going to spend 117 billion on child support grant. Mm -hmm. Now, let me, let me tell you why that's a problem. 117 billion. 117 billion just on child support grant, right? 13 million children. 13 million p children who have parents that can't afford them. Yeah. That's pretty much what this is, mm -hmm. this is saying, right? This means that 5% of South Africa's budget, total budget, is um, going to child support grant. Yeah. In 2011, only less than 2% went to child support grant. In 2011, less than two percent. Less than two no, percent of South Africa's yes, yeah. meaning you have a growing so problem. Instead of going down, it's, it's going, going up. up. More and more people are having yeah. children, and that's the way that they are supporting their family and themselves. Yes, so the grant is being used. It's being exploited. Mm -hmm. But that's all right that's now. Always how it's been if if you grew up like a. Because it'd be like, oh, yeah, no, I have, that's I have, the problem. I have, I have you have a lazier country now. Yeah. A lazy, you are building a lazier country and a more promiscuous country. Mm -hmm. In fact, instead of encouraging marriage, you are discouraging marriage because now I can just have a child outside of marriage and I'll get paid for it. I'm not saying when you are in marriage, you won't get paid for it. Yeah. But this is just shows that being promiscuous in South Africa pays. It pays to have a child in South Africa. We are, we are actually promoting culture oh, in South Africa. We are. We are. I'm not trying to be mean. No, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not, try, I'm not trying to be mean. The numbers are, t are saying it. Okay. From 2% to 5% in a span of what? 12 years? 12 years, yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot, Knox. You are spending 117 billion. On child support, 5% of the whole national budget. Do you know what a national budget is, Knox? But yeah, man, guys, I thank you for listening, watching, subscribing, and liking our videos on the on the pod. On the pod. I'm Knox, this is Marubi. Peace out. This is Knox and Marubi. Unfiltered. Is that the song you want? <laughs> <laughs>